So it is May 3rd and I have not made or posted a video in a very long time. So I'm going to consider this the first official video of the new vlog. So, um, yeah, it's been a long time since I posted mainly because, uh, with work and then school, I was just super tired, super not motivated and coming home and drinking a bunch of white claws and just not editing, not filming. And even if I did film, I just wouldn't edit it. So basically starting on May 1st, Nicole and I, uh, started a new diet. We're doing, uh, no sugar, no dairy, no starches, no carbs, and basically trying to eat healthier. We're doing no alcohol. We're not drinking for at least a month. And we're going to try to get some motivation back. I'm going to try to make a lot more videos. Um, I already have a good back pile of old videos. So starting this week with this video, I'm going to be posting, I'm going to try to post one video a week, probably towards the end of the week. And I'm going to throw in some old videos that I have backlogged that I should have put out a while ago, but just wasn't exactly motivated to finish editing them. So that being said, we are officially kicking off the new diet, the no drinking, and new vlogs consistently for real this time. We're drinking tea instead of beer now, so. I know it's called Beer Belly Films, but for now it's gonna be uh, just tea. But uh, don't worry, we're not we're not quitting drinking forever. Just starting off with the month, see how we feel, see if we feel better, see if we feel more motivated. And with the diet, we're gonna be doing that. That's preferably gonna be a lifestyle change. Hopefully, you know, I don't like my new lifestyle, but that's what it's gonna be because. Uh, Although we are beer belly films, I gotta kinda, gotta kinda get a little, uh, cut a little of this weight off. At least put on some healthy weight. So, I don't really know where this video is gonna go, but this will be the official first video of many to come. So, stay tuned. Thank you. Ah, yeah, my fish shack is a mess got fucking pheasant wings and feet and trash all my baits are everywhere nicole's uh two-year-old weed she never fucking took down from drying well i'm gonna go through this mess figure out what gear we need to bring um well actually i haven't even told you guys what what we're even doing so maybe i should do that it is friday and today I actually have the, uh, the day off of work. So Nicole and I are going to try to go down and go camping in Big Sur. Um, probably just saw some fire roads. Heard it's kind of chap. A lot of people are littering and like pooping everywhere. So a lot of the park rangers and uh, <sighs> police, I guess, are shutting a lot of the camping down. So hopefully we can go there, find a spot to camp for tonight. And then in the morning, we're going to get up early and we're going to head down to the coast and... Um, try to fish off the rocks going for some rockfish some lingcod it's been a super long time since i've tried to target anything really from the shore just because my buddy had his boat before he sold it and uh it was a lot more productive going out actually on a boat but we're gonna give it a go since i have a three-day weekend unexpectedly and uh yeah that's about it really nicole gets off work in about an hour uh, i'm packing up the car getting the gear together and we're gonna mob down there probably about hour and a half two hours and uh hopefully find a camping spot wish us luck let's go all right we're all rigged up and on my bg setup we're just gonna be going with your typical uh, shrimp fly high low rig I'll probably throw some uh, pieces of shrimp, octopus, and those uh, blood worms that I showed you earlier. And then on the favorite rod, we're gonna be throwing, it's a two ounce slider with a four out hook. And uh, I'm gonna be throwing swim baits and uh, little octopus swim baits and stuff like that. So hopefully it works out and hopefully we can get some fish. Now we're just waiting for Nicole to get off work really. 
All right, since we are on our diet still, we are pre-making all of our food. We're gonna do like a little taco salad type thing. Got the meat going. <coughs> oh, ooh, cayenne pepper's hot. Also, not just because of our diet, but also um, at the spot we're camping, because of all the fires, they're super strict about not having any kind of camp stoves or open fire. So we are gonna be gonna play around with it. We're gonna cook our food here. So just in case we do get stopped or talked to by a park ranger, we don't have any like open fire or anything that they can ticket us for or complain about. So once this food's all cooked up, we're pretty much gonna be ready to go. Shoo! Emmy's loaded up, got the poles, and the car is probably overpacked for a one night stay, but do that every single time. So we're ready to hit the road. It says we're gonna get there around four o'clock, probably a little bit later. And then hopefully we can cross our fingers, find a spot to camp just on some fire roads over there and really hope we don't get chapped. A uh, bunch of people told me that they've been cutting down pretty hard over there, so. I had a friend go a couple weeks ago that didn't get fucked with and camped out fine. So hopefully it'll work out the same for us. Ready, baby? Wow. You don't even do the cool shake anymore? <laughs> drove up this dirt road for probably like 10, 15 minutes. Don't exactly know if we're allowed to camp here. There's a couple people further down, but it looks like they might be camping out, but there's like kind of no camping signs, a sign that says private property on both sides of the road. So we don't really know. What do you think? You think it's chopped? I can't really say. <laughs> I'm neither. the rebel, you're not. Yeah, she doesn't give a fuck. I don't want to have some dude roll up on us all pissed off. Emmy's super bummed. She needs to get out of the bathroom. Well, I don't know if we're going to stay here, but it's beautiful. And I kind of want to stay here, but I don't want to get chopped. What's up, baby? What's up? Kristen and this is indeed the spot that she goes to um, she says just ignore the no camping signs she's been coming here since she was a kid with her dad so I think this is gonna be the campsite babe I mean we can go farther she said go above the clouds but we're we're pretty far in here I mean, maybe we'll go exploring a little bit it gets pretty narrow and up there but I mean the truck can the truck can hang so we'll see uh, we're, right now we're like guarded from the wind by this little uh what would you call that babe a little cutting a little, a little mountain a little edge but now we're we're just chilling i guess till tomorrow until we wake up and go fishing so we'll probably get the tent out here in a little bit start chilling look at this beautiful view Babe, just found some wild strawberries. I mean, trampoline. Just found some wild strawberries. Some poison oak is mixed in here, so. It's definitely poison oak. Emmy, get the fuck out of there. Good thing I'm sleeping with Emmy. 
Wild strawberries. <laughs> Wild strawberries with the hint of itchy. Yeah, you see? You see they're all around. Yeah. This whole hillside's covered in them. Let me see. What am I laying down? Yeah. Uh. Ooh, it is way cooler than this. It's going to be on the weather app. <clears throat> but making our uh, little taco salad. Got my bag of meat. Some carrots and onions. Little chalula. And uh, we're going to eat. Ooh, it's cold. We're going to eat. Cuddle up. Probably go to bed soon. Really hope we don't get kicked out tonight. No, no. Whoo, babe, it's cold. Baby. At least the food looks good. Mm. Ready, baby? Yeah. Oh. Shit. still super windy but uh we're all cuddled up under the blankets Get that right baby mm -hmm. so we are going to throw on a little movie and probably pass out for the night and fingers crossed no one comes and yells at us for being parked up here this little dog hopefully calms down and this little mother trucker right here is ready to cash out huh I'm cold. Yeah, it's a little chilly. But that's what two blankets, a dog, and me are for, babe. <laughs> so I'll see y'all in the morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Huh? Mm, I want some coffee. We need to get some coffee. But it's cold. <sighs> Damn, it's it's right on the road there. You're so lucky that I don't have a time. How are you going to figure it Well, we got our morning coffee and our tea. Got the tent put away. 
sunscreening up. And then we are going to head down and hopefully the gate down there, down the roadways is not closed. Amy keeps getting stuck in the bushes. What are you doing? Come on, this way. No, Amy, this way. Come on. Come on, come on. Keep coming. There you go, unstuck. All right, yeah, we're gonna head down the mountain, find a good spot to uh, fish out the rocks. Shoo! Hands down, best bathroom graffiti. Except Toy Story 3 sucked. Well, we made it to the spot. Got a long walk down to the rock, so. Way down there. Down this trail. All right, made it to the spot. It's definitely a lot more rough than I thought it was gonna be. But, homies up there just caught some fish, so. We're gonna give her hell for a little bit, and if we can't catch anything, we'll go to the next spot. Babe's gonna catch us dinner, huh? I'll just sit back and let you do it because I got the worst luck, I think. Nothing yet, but it sure is nice out here, huh, babe? Can't beat it. It's definitely colder than we thought it was gonna be, but it's all right. Of course, my GoPro died, but got a cabbie. Look at that, him. Whew, finally got one cab so far. Finally got the skunk off my back. I think we're gonna fish off that same spot a little bit longer and then uh, we'll probably dip out. Maybe do a new spot or like an actual beach with sand so we can go lay out and Emmy can run and get away from these flies. Whew, feels good though, finally. First fish, first rock fish from the shore of the season. Stoked. Whew. Ooh, I'm, out, I'm out of breath already. All right, well, we got one fish. We're leaving this spot. We're gonna go find a beach for Emmy to go run on. But this spot is so fucking beautiful. Big old cliffs. Water looks freaking tropical. <sighs> Not ready for this uh, long trek back up the mountain. Here we go. Oh, we made it. Ready, Emmy? Yeah. Whew, it's hot, baby. Oh, my. That was a long walk. We were all the way down there. Way at the ocean. Whew, feels good, though. Little workout, caught a fish. Now it's time to relax. I need some water too. Uh, not much. <laughs> mm. Well, we're gonna go find a beach, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're gonna go find a beach and chill. We skipped the beach, came straight home. Uh, I'm gonna fillet up that fish and hop in our super sweet pool here <sighs> and then we're gonna make some uh cabazon ceviche mm. oh yeah so i'm gonna flay the fish and uh, then we'll probably get started making that uh ceviche Okay, I'm gonna dice up the fish. 
Nicole's going to get the limes and lemons cut up and get these bad boys ready to go in the juice. We got our fish all cut up. Nicole got all of our juice cut up and juiced up. And we're just gonna pour it into the bowl with like your uh, typical ceviche. Pour it in, baby. We're gonna put that in the fridge now while we cut up the veggies. And let that start cooking. We're gonna cut our cilantro, green onions, Pabano peppers, jalapeno, bell peppers, and red onion. One, All you have left to do is mix in our uh, veggies and with our fish and let it sit overnight. We got our uh, cassava flour chips since we are still on our diet. They're actually super bomb. And the star of the show is our ceviche, which should be done by now. It's been not quite 24 hours, but pretty good amount of time. Perfect occasion to eat in the garden. I'm excited. This will be the first time I've had ceviche in a long time. And it looks delicious. Yeah. Did they catch it? Let's see if I can do it without breaking a chip. There we go. Big chunk of fish. Mmm. 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 Pretty good. This you might be the way we have job. to do it every time. You did a good job. I like the cucumbers. Yeah, the cucumbers make it. Yeah. I'm glad most we people, added them. Most people don't add them in ceviche, I feel mm. like. Oh, yeah. That's mm -hmm. a good look. <laughs> oh, my. It's good, huh? Mm -hmm. All right, I'm stoked. This is definitely probably one of my favorite ways to eat cabazon. The meat still is, like, firm. Mm -hmm. like, it doesn't get, like, you know, all mushy and shit. But it's still cooked through. I'll take a piece. The meat's still cooked through. It tastes so good. Well, we're gonna eat a lot more of this. And then uh, probably get started on the fish stock, maybe? Mm hmm. All right, well. <laughs>